Well, hello everybody. This is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice. And this is a uh, public service announcement, a plug for those pre-trip walk-arounds to check your tires. And while uh, all the tires on Ethel were fully inflated, uh, there was one that just did not look like the other three. You know, it's one of those puzzles. What's different about this tire? Well, across the tread, <laughs> the face of the tread was no longer relatively flat like the other three. Uh, it was more uh, significantly curved and humped. <laughs> and so a uh, quick call to discount tire and they uh, recommend to bring the tire in. Likely we have a uh, tread separation on these Goodyear Endurance uh, load range E tires. And uh, Jason here says it's still under warranty. So we're gonna get it swapped out and get us all suited up for our next trip. All right, we're looking at the tire here and you can see we have a significant hump there in this one location. And a good indication that we have tread separation. And overall, the tire is pretty well convexed across the face of the tire, but uh, significantly in this one location. So they're gonna swap it out for us. Well, 20 minutes later and the tire's all swapped out. Got it back home. And we're gonna put it back on Ethel. He's waiting for another tire over there. And as a reminder, <clears throat> always make sure when you're putting the lug nuts back on that you torque them to the manufacturer's specifications. And uh, Forest River puts this little handy sticker above both sides of my axles. Just a reminder that it's 100 foot-pounds. And that's what we've got. My torque wrench set, 100 foot-pounds. We're going to lower the tire. I've got them snugged up. We're going to lower the tire down off the jack and then tighten them up with the torque wrench. I will say that this uh, six ton bottle jack, hydraulic jack has come in quite handy for us. Works great and uh, plenty of capacity for the trailer. And there we go. We have the tire lowered onto the ground. And the last step here is uh, get the TPS sensor all set, uh, which brings me to uh, another comment here. While we do love our TPS sensors here and they have helped give us an early response and early warning to issues with the tires in the past and helped prevented blowouts for sure. We've had zero blowouts, although we've had several flat tires, different nails and such. And the TPS, TPMS has helped us pick up on that but it is not a replacement for the routine walk arounds uh, with every trip and uh, before every trip. And uh, I usually take the opportunity when I'm stopping for gasoline as well to make another walk around, see if anything has changed on our wonderful roads out there. So this is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice, uh, just bringing to you this public service announcement about taking care of your tires. Safe travels and happy camping.